Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight, and it's Friday, July 26, 2013, and here are our top stories. Tonight, the U.S. Army is stockpiling AK-47 ammunition, even though they don't officially use it. Who's it for? Then, the prosecution in the Bradley Manning case claims the private was seeking rock star fame, not American freedom. And feds continue web censorship by demanding passwords. All that and more coming up on the InfoWars Nightly News. The man in me is ready to take them all on. I got you. Well, our top story tonight is the U.S. government buying even more ammo. This time it's the Army. And this time they're buying ammunition for guns they don't have. In an exclusive story on InfoWars today, the U.S. Army is buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo and popular civilian firearms. The U.S. Army is now looking to stockpile nearly 3 million live rounds of Soviet-era Russian ammo popular with civilian shooters. As the solicitation implies, the 7.62 by 39 millimeter and the 9 by 18 millimeter Makarov are not standard issue in the U.S. military or in NATO. Are they going to somehow end up in the sidearms of Obama-backed Syrian rebels, especially after two congressional panels cleared the way for shipping small arms to Syria? These solicitations with planned acquisitions ranging from half a million dollars to $22 million definitely forge fears of backdoor gun control by creating artificial scarcity that denies Americans access to a wide range of firearms and ammo. So that's essentially the question. Are these pieces of ammunition that the U.S. Army doesn't have the capability to use, are these going to be sent to Syrian rebels? Or is this yet another instance of the Obama administration trying to do backdoor gun control by taking away our ammunition? Jakari Jackson has more information. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars news alert. We have the article on InfoWars.com headline, U.S. Army buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo and popular civilian firearms. A U.S. Army solicitation posted on July 18th on the Federal Biz Opportunities website asked for 2.5 million rounds of 7.62-39 ball ammunition, that's a popular AK-47 round, also 600,000 rounds of blank ammunition for the same, and 425,000 rounds of 9 by 18 millimeter. In addition to the ammunition back in 2012, the U.S. Army was looking for a vendor who could, quote, reach around the world at any given moment to gather and provide multiple types of weapons and weapon parts. The solicitation also asked for books, manuals, tools, and gauges pertaining to those firearms. Now, keep in mind the U.S. military and the United States police forces do not use a 7.62 round in any official capacity, usually opting for a 5.56 round or a 223. But you know who does use a 7.62 round? The Syrian rebels. The Syrian rebels who have pledged their allegiance to Al-Qaeda, the Syrian rebels who are funded by the Obama administration, the Syrian rebels who Mrs. Clinton admitted that we created. When the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, we had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of Mujahideen, equip them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside Afghanistan. And also the Syrian rebels who hang out with John McCain in his spare time. If you want something that uses a 7.62 round, you can go by the InfoWars shop and pick up a Come and Take It shirt. It has the AK-47 chambered in a 7.62 round and also the AR-15 that shoots a 2.23. I'm Jakari Jackson and this has been an InfoWars News Alert. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.